Hey guys, welcome back to HGTV Handmade with us, the Crafting Lumberjacks. Today we're gonna to be making styrofoam stamp pop art for our kitchen, inspired by two things we absolutely love, coffee and takeout. First, you're gonna start by making your stamp. So the first step to making your stamp is going to be to find an image. I found this image on the streets of New York. I took it with my phone and then I printed it out. It's of an Italian espresso maker. We love Cuban coffee, so we <laughs> always use this. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna cut out a piece of your takeout container. So it's like this, and then lay your image right on top. And it actually might help to tape it down with just a little bit of washi tape, just so it doesn't move. And if you don't have a picture of a coffee maker or you don't want to use a coffee maker picture, you can use uh, images that you find on clip art or online. Just print it out and you can trace your image. Yeah, the options are endless. So after you have it taped down, you're gonna take a dull pencil and you're just gonna trace the outline of your image. It really does help if your image is pretty simple, especially for the first time you try it and you really wanna press down. You don't wanna to go too hard so you don't go through the styrofoam, but you do wanna make an indent because that's going to create negative space that's gonna help your stamp. Yeah. I'm just gonna slowly start to peel it off and then if something doesn't look fully finished, I'm just gonna go back. Like I think I could do this part right here over again really quickly. Yeah, and you wanna make sure you spend time on this because this is um, gonna make or break your stamp. So you wanna make sure your indents are all in the right place. That's pretty good. I'm actually yeah. gonna go over it one more time with the paper <laughs> off, just cause sometimes that paper kind of trips you up. Looks Bam, beautiful. that looks good. So now that you have your image traced, you're gonna cut it out using an X-Acto knife and you can just follow the outline of your image. Don't forget about the little details like this handle here. When you're cutting it, do it piece by piece instead of trying to trace the whole thing out. Do it nice and slowly because styrofoam really is Fragile. Well, Andrew's doing that. I'm going to help him by getting his base together. We're gonna to use two pieces of cardboard. We're gonna glue them together. Like all stamps, he's gonna need something sturdy to hold on to while he's making his imprint. Um, using regular craft glue for this, you can use any type of glue. So now that I have these two glued together and Andrew cut out his stamp, we're gonna glue the styrofoam right to the cardboard here. Again, using craft glue. You don't want to use a glue gun or anything because that's going to melt your styrofoam. The last thing we need to do now is just cut out around your image. It's better to cut your cardboard really close to the stamp. That'll make it easier when you're stamping it to line it up. Great. Now that our stamp is all ready, we're all ready to use it. <laughs> we already pre-measured our frame that we want to use. We're using regular oak tag. So we're creating a pattern effect, and to do that, we're going to be using washi tape to make columns. And since our frame is 18 inches across, we're just going to divide it by three and go six inches, put a piece of washi tape, six inches, put another piece of washi tape, just to help everything stay in line. Washi tape is so great. It doesn't only look awesome on paper, but it peels really well, like painter's tape. So we use it instead of painter's tape all the time because it's actually cheaper and much cuter. All right, so another six inches. Yeah. You wanna go from the top? Yeah. We wanted to make a 3D pop art print. So we're using neon pink for our bottom color, and then we're gonna use navy blue for the top color. So we're gonna be doing a staggered look for our print. And to do that, we're actually just gonna start one column halfway through. And we don't wanna get any of our paint on the table, so we are using the leftover poster board just to slide it under here, just as protection. I'm gonna roll out the paint. Get a cheap roller from your craft store. It'll make a big difference. And then I'm just going to go over it. Here we go, I think I'm just gonna... <gasps> wow! Great. So then when it's in our frame, you're only gonna see this top part here. Yeah. That'll help with the staggered look. Okay, so I'm gonna keep on going. Well, we 
we were waiting for our paint to dry, we cleaned off our styrofoam stamp and our roller so that we can add our second color, the navy blue. And we're just gonna layer this. We're just gonna kind of offset it so it kind of has like a 3D look to it. I'm gonna keep on going with the blue. Yes. We love the way this turned out. We can't wait to see how it looks in our kitchen. Yeah. Inspired by two things we absolutely love. Take coffee out. And take coffee. Out. <laughs>